um, I was at I was at a conference for the American Academy of Pediatrics, and and Dr. Arnold came up to me. And he was like, "I really like that you've got folate here, the B6, the B12, but did you know that you really need kind of all of the B vitamins?" And there's this paper, but I think it, the Kennedy was the author that basically kind of describes how all of the B vitamins work in kind of a concert. Oh, okay. And so if you're deficient in B1, it doesn't matter if you're getting the full amount of B, B, B6, folate, whatever, yeah. B6, B12, um, that'll all be helpful, but you're, you're going to have this cog in the wheel. So you really need to be able to make sure that they're taking all of them. So we've changed the formulation a handful of times. Uh, we found out there was such a thing as overmethylators. So people are Ooh. very sensitive to methylcobalamin and and L-methylfolate. Uh -huh. So, which is it's so tricky because some of our our best um, transformative cases were kids with autism that they got the folate right. and the methylcobalamin and they were doing amazingly well, like after just four weeks. But others, those methyl those methyl groups like made them get very anxious. So we've kind of had to form, change it and go to a different B vitamin that was active. Uh, we changed it to adenosylcobalamin and hydroxycobalamin. And overnight, all of the, the issues with um, anxiety went away because it was no longer um, affecting those that were overmethylators. 